the KGB monitored popular opinion in Soviet Ukraine, especially at times of crisis. And they registered um, a very wide range of opinions in such public spaces as um, public transport, marketplaces, uh, queues outside shops. And the opinions that the KGB register in those contexts are really surprising. They reveal that even there, where people, well, they're not at home, but they are not participating in any official meeting, even there, people express opinions that the KGB itself finds surprising. In the early 1980s, for instance, the KGB in Lviv is actually tasked with finding dissent. They are going to student halls of residence. They are traveling on buses back and forth across the city, and their bosses are expecting them to report that some people, at least, some of these supposedly unreliable Soviet citizens in Western Ukraine are expressing support for the Solidarity Movement in Poland. But these KGB officers find themselves in quite a difficult position because they have to report back that they found very little problems. They found very few problems. Um, so I was surprised. I expected to find a very different picture. But equally, the Soviet leadership at the time was surprised. They expected there to be trouble, and they found a much more loyal population. 